Hi, welcome to TV3 Crafters Corner. My name is Shelly. This week I'm going to show you how to make a purse out of some vinyl placemats. And I found um, some placemats on clearance for 10 cents a piece, and so this is a really cheap project for me to make. Um, so you want at least four vinyl placemats. And um, to start this project, you just want to turn it around, and you're going to want to draw some circles on the back side. And you want to find a cup that's at least two and a half inches across, because that's how long or how big you want your circles to be. So I measured this cup, and it was two and a half inches across. And then um, I just put it on the back of my placemat, because you don't want the pencil marks to show when you get your purse done. Just draw some circles around your cup. and just go all the way around your placemat. And you're gonna need 56 of these circles. So this is a good um, sitting in front of the TV project. Once you get all your circles drawn out on your placemat, then you can just start cutting them out. And these cut really easy. It just takes just a little bit of time to get all these cut out. So once you have all your circles cut out, all 56 of them, then you can, it, it calls for um, like contact cement, a waterproof um, contact cement. And I did use this on the sample purse that I made, but there was a lot of cleanup with it. And um, I was able to clean it up really nice with um, using Goo Gone on it. So if you do want to use the cement, it dries really quickly and it is waterproof. And um, just whatever mess you make, just clean it up with your Goo Gone. And it's, it's really easy to clean up with that. But um, now I'm going to use this glass and bead glue because this dries clear and there wasn't as much cleanup with it. And so what you want to do is start, for the one panel you're going to need five rows um, and then four columns. So you're going to want to kind of glue them together like this. And I'm just going to take my glue. and. I was having to use um, rubber gloves with this because my glue started to leak out of the side, so it was getting all over my fingers. But um, today I don't need them because my glue is all dried up on there. But um, just start putting glue on your circle. And then just start gluing them together like this. And you're just going to overlap them all the way down. And just keep going down. And then once you get your four circles down, then you can start up at the top again because you're going to need five across. And then you're going to want to overlap this one onto here. So then you're just going to start another pattern of going um, all the way down and across. So you're going to need two of these panels with um, the 20 circles. And then you're going to want to make, for the sides, you're going to need um, two across and four down. And then once you have um, your two across and four down, then you've got all of your sides to your purse. Then you're going to need to cut out, and this is what your sides are going to look like. And then here's your two um, bigger sides. So here's all your pieces. Then you need a um, bottom piece that you're going to glue all this together with. And this needs to be 11 by 14. But the way my placemat was, with all these scallops in it, I wasn't able to get that big of a piece. So what I did was I just took my placemat and just took up to the biggest um, part that I could get here with my scallops and just took my knife and cut it off there and then did the same with the sides. So my piece ended up being about um, just about 11 inches by just a little over 12 inches. So, and it worked okay for the first one that I did. So then you need to take your big sides and you're going to go about an inch down your bottom to glue it. So you can just take your glue and you can either glue it onto, let's see, make sure that's, that your, um, your right side is down when you're gluing this together because you're going to need to glue the wrong sides together. So you can just take your glue and either run your glue across your the bottom piece or you can just run it across the circles that you cut out. Just, it takes quite a bit of glue. I used just about um, three-fourths of this cement to do the one purse. So, But actually it was pretty cheap because the placemats were only 10 cents a piece so it was a really cheap project. 
the glue costs more than anything. And you're also going to need to cut two strips that are 11 by 11 inch by one inch for your handles also. So you're going to need to remember that you need enough placemat for that also. And once you get all your glue on there, and that cement dry, dries up pretty, or it sets up pretty quick, so it wasn't a problem getting that done in a hurry. And just put it about an inch down to your, on your bottom there. And you're going to want to do the same with this side. And I don't know how well that's going to set up as quick as my cement did, but... And then when you're done with this, you can even embellish it by putting fake flowers on it if you want, or um, you can put sequins on it if you want, beads. And my glue's starting to come up the sides again. So it's gonna get all over my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna go down an inch or so. Okay, and now you have the two sides and the bottom of your purse press it down really good and this um, glue that I was using if this leaks out you can just like peel it off so there wasn't much cleanup with that so once you have it all pressed down then your sides can come up like this and then these sides this is kind of hard to maneuver these sides on there I had a little trouble with this but you're gonna just like put glue the bottom here and glue the bottom there and then you're going to have to maneuver this over here to fit it all together. And you're going to have to hold it for a while because it takes a little bit to dry. So once you get that all done, then you can take your handles, and I'll just show you on this one that I finished. See how I had to, and my sides didn't come out too well on this one, but I did the best I could. So maybe you can take a little more time and, and, and put yours together a little better. But then to, do, to glue your handles on, you're just going to want to put some glue inside here and just glue your handles on there and then you've got your purse made out of vinyl placemats and it really was a fun project but it just took a lot of time to um, cut the circles out and to get all the glue on there and that what took the most time was gluing it together and trying to get it all cleaned up and what I did to clean it up was I took the goo gun and I just took a um, cotton ball and just um, put some goo gun on the cotton ball and just, just rubbed it on there and it cleaned it off really good and then to get down into the cracks and crevices here, I just took a Q-tip and just cleaned it all up like that. And this purse, you know, could use some more cleaning up, but I didn't have a lot of time to get it done. So that's just the project that I had to share with you this week. And if you'd like the full instructions on this project, you can log on to lakestv3.com and click on the Just For You page. And if you have any um, questions or comments, you can email me at tv3crafterscorner at hotmail.com. And thanks for joining me.